in terms of like the whole process and, and getting back. Um, is it frustrating how this season has gone for you so far and, and having to go through what you've gone through to get back to this point? Well, I mean, you could say frustrating. I'm not sure that's the right word. It's, um, you know, obviously suffering a, a injury that we got a couple of games your senior year isn't what you want to do. But, you know, football's a crazy game. We all know that. So just trying to get the team back on tracks. What was, what was the rehab process like for the last few weeks to try to get back fully healthy? Uh, I mean, it was, it was pretty extensive, you know, bone stimulation and, you know, underwater treadmill, re-strengthening, um, usual stuff. Does it get boring at some points? You know, the season's going on, you're watching your teammates play, and you're stuck trying just to get healthy again. Uh, no, I wouldn't say boring. It kind of gives you <laughs> some more motivation to get back on the field. You know, you go down in the first game, your know, senior year, um, not what you want to hear. So, you know, as each game went on, it kind of drove me to get back more and more. Do you feel like a fluke? Like, how does this injury happen and the game hasn't even started yet? Yeah, you know, you know, people always say everything happens for a reason. Um, and, it, you know, obviously getting that extra result you know, is a tough picture to look at. But, um, like I said, you know, football's a crazy game. You know, it, you, know you experience these crazy highs and, you know, to enjoy that, you got to have the lows, I guess. So it's kind of what we're looking at. Are you excited to get on the field with Deshaun knowing – what he's done the past few weeks. Now this offense has pretty much taken off since he started. Are you excited to get on the field with him? No see? doubt. I mean, to be a part of, well, I mean, this program, and it's, it's great. And a kid that, that, that's that special um, is, is, is awesome. You know, I was, I was in on the play uh, down at the West End Zone over here. Uh, he kind of jumped over a guy. You know, that's, that's pretty special. Not too many people, you know, you won't see that too many times. So. You know, seeing him grow, uh, you know, on and off the field is awesome, and uh, can't wait to see what he does. What can you bring to this offense now that you're back in Alpha? Well, you know, I've been in this program for five years, so you know, first you know, I have a lot of knowledge of the program, the offense, and kind of what our goals are, um, as well as you know, I kind of labeled as the you know physical blocker, tight end, and you know, I'm happy to assume that role. Um, I don't think that it has to be just, you know, capped to just that. You know, I, I'm ready to make plays for this team. They're going to need you against Louisville. It's an aggressive team. They're going to apply pressure from different angles. And so you're sort of anxious maybe to take that first hit when the guy's coming in off the edge and you get to provide a little chip on the end for your quarterback to make sure he doesn't get rushed too quickly. Yeah, no, I just can't wait. You, know, you, know, you have a defense of that caliber in, in your, your own stadium. That's, that's awesome. That's, that's a great challenge. I'm ready for it. What was it like uh, to return from injury to be named a captain for the NC State game this week? It was pretty emotional. You know, I, I really appreciated you know, Coach Sweeney acknowledging you know, the work that I put in. So, in order to lead the team like that, yeah, what was the rehab from a physical mental standpoint? Just coming back from week one to now. Well, it's it's pretty much you know the standard you know restrengthening and you know I guess you know with fractures you just got to let go and heal. Um, but mentally, you know, watching each game go as the season goes along, you know, gives you more motivation. You know. Have you been told to take it easy in warm-ups? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got to be careful in warm-ups. Now. Knowing there's so many guys there that can sort of pick up the slack, does it make it a little easier to watch them aside, or does it make it more difficult knowing that you want to be out there? No guys? doubt. I mean, in, you know, right after warm-ups in Georgia, you know, I kind of went to my guys and looked and said, you know, look, we, we all have to step up here. You know, I have, you know, obviously the most knowledge of being in this system longest, so I tried to, you know, give that to them and, you know, have guys like Jordan Leggett, Stan Seconder, DJ McCullough, DJ Greenlee. You know, you, you kind of rest easy with that. You know, they're all going to go make plays.